Most metals are good conductors, and this is why most electrical systems and circuits use copper wiring and traces. Copper, which has an atomic number of 29. If you don't know what an atomic number is, look that up. What that basically means is that in a piece of copper, every atom will have 29 electrons and 29 protons. This is a piece of copper wire, and as we mentioned before, in order to get the charges or the electrons to move from an atom to an atom within a conductor, um, also known as creating electricity, you first have to apply a small push or some kind of electrical pressure to actually start the process. Um, this type of electrical pressure is also known as an EMF or an electromotive force. In an electrical circuit, this is better known as the voltage. 